What's up guys, it's Cameron, and some of you might have already seen the new FBM Fox Shops syncing update, whatever you want to call it. I just want to talk to you about it, how I talk to you about stuff, because some of you guys just like to hear about it from me. I'm just, let's talk about it. FBM Fox has now, or possibly as of tonight, I believe, it's not out yet for everybody, but some beta testers and myself have been able to play with it, and... They've got shops figured out, and it's actually way cooler than the Marketplace. <laughs> so, FBM Fox now has it to where you can go and take all the products you already have in FBM Fox, or products that you will have in FBM Fox if you don't have them already, and let's say you've got 2,000 products in there already. You can just copy-paste a link into your shop as a data feed, and it will auto-cycle and update those things every hour. So... One thing why this is important, Facebook Shops is actually set up so that businesses can sell on Facebook. It, it's meant for people like us. I know some of us don't consider ourselves businesses. But the things we're trying to do are things that businesses try to do. So things that are valuable. Though number one thing FBM Fox has stood out for, right? is the fact that they will reprice your items within Facebook Marketplace for you. In the past, that's what the whole big, why they were a big deal, right? Because you can't even do that yourself. Like You can't go in and change your price, especially back in the day, unless the, price, unless the item has been sold out for a really long time or you haven't had orders for a really long time, and that's new. Back in the day, you couldn't even, you couldn't even reprice them ever. You'd have to delete and relist. FBM Fox changed that when they implemented some sorcery background crap that I don't understand where it, you list your products through FBM Fox and it links with your Facebook account and will go in and reprice things for you. Well, Facebook doesn't want you to do that on Marketplace. They just found a way around it, like a little loophole. Facebook does not want that. They do want that on Facebook shops though. They want you to reprice your stuff. They want it to be fluid like that so that the experience is better. There's no issues. It can actually be run like a business. and It's set up for all of that. It welcomes it. FBM Fox handles that. So it actually can set, you can set an hourly schedule where it will just kick into your FBM Fox account every hour. Just re-verify everything. Because remember, in the background, your FBM Fox account also does its own repricing scan to all your links that you listed from. So if you listed something from eBay and it went up 10 bucks, if FBM Fox is gonna recognize that once it sinks, it's gonna up your price on your product in FBM Fox, and it's gonna it's gonna reflect that price change so that your margin stays the same because you have a template built in with it to show that you want a specific margin of profit. So it will recalculate the price. Your Facebook shops that is now linked to your FBM Fox will then talk to FBM Fox and be like, hey, what's the new price, bro? And then FBM Fox is like, here it is, FBM Fox. And now your Facebook shops will now reflect the repricing. It's all done automatically. It doesn't need the extension at all. It's just from your actual account with them. Amazing. But the biggest, coolest part is the fact that you can, let's say you want to do product research or you have some something that you can get thousands of links for, for products or you have an F, you have a VA that you just pay them to do product research for you and get you links to products, right? You have a template in FBM Fox. They have a bulk uploader now where you just copy paste all those links in there, apply a template. You want your all your stuff to have 40% profit? Sweet. Apply your temp template, hit bulk upload. I mean, the, he just released a video some of you might have seen. He did 5,000 products in like 20 minutes. I think it was over 5,000. That's how long it took for just the system to handle everything. It's amazing. It's going to supercharge your whole situation if you if you take advantage of it they're going to have options i have it here for 5000 products 10000 products 25 50 all the way up to 100000 products depending on if that's how big your your shop needs to be and even the free lister tool will have options for stuff like that so yeah i mean i'm just looking over the information to make sure even the free plans will support shops just like Marketplace did. So check out FBM Fox if you don't already have it. And if you do already have it, be on the lookout. Some people are confused because um, FBM Fox has released some videos about it and people are like, my account doesn't have it. It's not 
released for everybody yet. The plan is for tonight. Um, today is October 11th. If it doesn't get done tonight, um, it, it's going to be, you know, the next day or whenever it's coming. They just wanted to make sure that you had some education videos before they released it because, I mean, let's let's say I created something and I just dropped it on you. You guys would be like, I don't know how to use it. But now if I create stuff for you ahead of time, you're going to be like, I don't have options to use it because it's not out. So just it's a chicken and egg situation. It's just better for there to be some resources before you need them rather than when it's when you're trying to purchase it. You only have right then to work on this thing and then it's gone. So regardless, FVM Fox is the way to go. One thing for those of you who have gotten a chance to use it or might might implement it today or while I'm gone on vacation or whatever. For all your products you already have on FBM Fox for Marketplace, you have to go to your products. This is something that I had to learn the hard way because I was like, man, this isn't working for me. Simple fix. I tried to upload everything to shops and it would get, kept giving me errors. Well, that was because I didn't do one simple thing that to me, I didn't realize, but to everybody else is very simple. Go to your products in FBM Fox and, you know, Change the drop down, you know, list to like 500 or 1,000 just to get as many products on the page as possible. And then just hit search. You don't have to type anything in your, to actually search a product. Just hit search with a higher quantity of items so that the page gets bigger, right? Check mark all the products and then bulk edit all the products to say like edit marketplace. When you hit that and hit apply, it will bring up a little drop, a little window. Just make sure that Facebook shops and a marketplace is applied on there or just at least shops if that's what you're trying to do and then apply so that it makes sure that it check marks all of your old products to be put into shops because I wasn't doing that. So I was doing my link feed and everything and it just wasn't uploading anything. I'm like, what the hell is my problem? I can't figure this out. I just didn't do that. Then you need to do the same thing, bulk edit everything else and apply a template and you need like you need to make a new shops template because when you in you in the new templates, if you mark that you want to have a shops template, it, you you there's shops and it opens up more options. You need to fill out as many of those options as you can, just so that it's better. It's a better experience when you start to link products through it, and then apply that template when you bulk edit all the all your old products. And in the future, when you bulk list or when you do any kind of listing for shops, apply your shops template. So, I just wanted to put that out there. It's amazing. You're gonna be uploading all sorts of crap and it's gonna be way easier than it was before. Effie and Fox, link's in, link is in the description. 10% off your first month if you don't already have it. Even if you just wanna try out the free stuff, supporting the channel wise, hitting that link helps me out, helps my channel out. Just let FV and Fox know that you're coming from my video or coming from some information that I gave you or just that you're a fan of my stuff if you just like watching me because of, you like watching a dude talk at a camera at you. That's cool too. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.